I had talking with Keenan Cook this morning. Uh, Keenan obviously got your pictures taken today, but uh, um, only about three weeks from the season. What are your uh, what are your thoughts on the season coming up? Um, I think we're very young this year, but I think we have um, good senior senior leadership to go ahead and make the younger guys look up to us, just lead by example, you know, and. Um, if we do the right thing, then they'll just follow in our footsteps and do the right thing too, hopefully. So I think we'll be all right with uh, the seniors we have this year. What the kind of skill position you, uh, you've got, you got your quarterback, Maddox McMillan, back, which is, it was always big. Um, you lose one receiver, um, albeit a big receiver. He had seven touchdowns, uh, that being Jace Calusi. But talk about the receivers that are back this year specifically. I mean, yourself had 33 receptions and you get yeah. pretty good skill there. Um, well, of course, myself, and then we have Tyle uh, coming back. He'll be a deep threat for us. Um, Elijah Redfern will be back for us, and Elijah Waller, they'll be more slot type guys. Um, they'll catch just anything they can. They'll come in uh, for me and Tyle if we need a break, and then they'll be banking plays too, as well. So, were I think you we'll be more all right. of a possession uh, receiver last year with Jace being kind of the the deep threat yeah with or, jace being outside and uh we played tale outside some too so i played slot so i could come in motion and get the jet sweeps and pitches and stuff like that so i was more like outs and slants kind of guy and then jace would be running like posts and goes you know what i'm saying so like i was more of a possession kind of guy just get the first down and he would be in big place with him being gone do you see your role expanding yes I, I started i moved to the outside again this year i always played outside my ninth and tenth grade year and then uh i moved to slot last year and then i'm back to outside now this year so how is uh you we talked about you coming in at about five foot nine you're six six four now yeah how do you see that height helping you i, I think there were times last year when maddox would throw it up and you'd high point the ball and you know get a, a nice possession or a touchdown yeah man it's a blessing honestly uh i never ex i never expected to be as tall as i am if i'm being honest because i was always the shortest friend maddox has always been taller than me so to look at maddox now and be taller than him it's just weird for me but I you mean, guys got a, a pretty good natured little rivalry going between yourselves don't you i know yeah, he, he was uh, <laughs> using some of your product when you were gone i don't know if you knew about that or not no i didn't but now, now you I know did. and thank you get him in trouble <laughs> yeah we're competitive man we've always been like that is it is does that help your your relationship you guys being good friends you're also basketball teammates oh yeah does that translate lot. on the football field it helps a lot man we uh we can just give each other a look and we know what's going on on the field and uh know where we need, he needs he knows where he needs to put the ball for me to go get it and I know where he's going to put the ball for me to go get it. So that just helps a lot. So. Where did that start at uh, for you two? When did you get to the point where you could just give each other a look and know what what play you could run or what, what you could do out there? Uh, I would say it really started for us last year because, I mean, my t ninth and 10th grade years, I, I played, but I didn't really, like, start, you know. So I would just come in when they needed me. If somebody needed a break, I would come in. But last year it started for me where I could – look at Maddox and I'll be like I want the ball and he'd get it to me you know so I could make a play but you also play basketball and you know one of the story programs in the state you and Maddox both but you I think you expressly wanted to play football and now you've uh, committed to uh, Georgetown in, uh, the Patriot League uh, why did why for a guy from Beckley why was football number one for you well it if I'm being honest, my entire life I expected to be like a bigger basketball player. Like I've always liked basketball more than football. But when I got to high school and I realized how good I could be at football, I just started putting more time into it and I started working out every day in football. And uh, sometimes you, I mean, at some point you have to make a choice at what sport you want to play. I mean, very few people can play more than one sport in college at the collegiate level. So I just chose football. I mean, there's nothing really special to it. So. So you never, you didn't come up thinking you were going to be a, a, a Division uh, One football player. Never. Yet that, that became a stated goal for you about when? Was it last year, year before? I would say around quarantine is when I really started working out every day. And I was like, I might be able to take this somewhere, so I need to start working at it. So me, Coach Clements, and uh, KJ, if you remember KJ, we used to work out every day during quarantine. We'd go to um, Family Worship Center and work out there. We'd work out in the practice field up here. Just anywhere we could go, really. So, um, Georgetown, what was it about them that attracted you to that program? Man, I just love being in D.C. It's it's a big city. It's way different than Beckley. Um, 
the water is beautiful. It's a beautiful campus. Um, all the facilities are great. The weight room and uh, they have a great team facility. Stuff for the team to do and the field is amazing. They have a brand new locker room, brand new stadium. So it's just great down there. Will you be a huge Hoya fan? I mean, did you grow up? No, I've never Hoyas? been a Hoya a fan. I just, I remember watching, I mean, I've seen AI jerseys and stuff like Allen Iverson jerseys right. and there, it's always been known as a big basketball school. So for me to go play football there, it's different, but I think I can make Will it Will you work. be a huge basketball fan though? Yeah, I'm a cheer one. <laughs> <laughs> Do Patrick you... Ewing's a basketball coach, so that's interesting too, so. Are you a Patrick Ewing fan or no? Uh, not really, but I've before. always just yeah, I've just known about him. What uh, what can do you think people will, will be surprised by what you guys can do offensively? I mean, you I had a pretty so. big year last year with some records set, but do you, you do you think you can surpass that? I think we can. Uh, I think Maddox is ready this year, even more than last year, because he's gotten more confident with his throwing ability, and he's even gotten better. And I think all of our route running and stuff has gotten better, so I think we'll be all right this year. All right. And Kenny, I appreciate the time, and good luck this season. Thank you, sir. You know what? I, I forgot that... Uh...